Guys, I have got a brand new Outcast 8S, but we are not going to be keeping this thing 8S and we are not going to be keeping this thing stock. Let me get this stripped down and I'll tell you what the plans are. We got this all stripped down. Now we are going way beyond V2 with this truck. We have got a Max 5 G2 ESC capable of 12S. We've got this giant motor that's also capable of 12S. We're gonna start this thing out on 8S and then we're gonna move to 12S if it survives. But we aren't keeping anything on this thing stock. Let me show you what else we've got. We are going all out with the upgrades on this one. To start off, we have got the amazing M2C chassis. To go along with that, the rest of the M2C beefcake kit, motor mount, steering system, front and rear blocks, zero rebound shock pistons, these upgraded pillow ball retainers, and a whole bunch of other miscellaneous bits and pieces that is gonna take this stock truck and make it an absolute monster. The very first thing we need to do is replace this chassis. If you're replacing a flat plate style aluminum chassis, here's what you need to do. Take your truck, set it upside down on the bench, and then just take every screw out of the bottom. Once you've got all those screws out, it's just as easy as taking the old plate off and then screwing the new chassis plate back in. Now I've got a lot of other stuff to upgrade on this truck, so I'm not gonna be doing that, but if you're just replacing the chassis or just upgrading the chassis, that's as easy as it is. The V2 truck is just the V1 EXB roller with electronics, slightly updated tires, and a new paint job. We're gonna be going well beyond that though. First thing we need to do is liberate this differential. It's super important to keep track of your screws when you're taking one of these things apart. The best way I've found to do it is if you can put the screws back where they came from, like in this little small part here, then you won't lose them and you know exactly where they go when it comes time to put them back together. Now we're gonna be upgrading this stock plastic differential housing to this aluminum one. Aluminum differential housings really stiffen up the structure and help protect both your ring and pinion gear and your internal gears. Let's get this swapped out. It's a good thing we're doing this because there is not a lot of fluid in here. If you struggle to get these gears out of here, a dental pick can be really helpful. They can get it underneath the gear and then pop them right out, just like that. While we're waiting for some thread lock to cure, let's get these shocks upgraded. I am gonna reuse this shock fluid because it is brand new. Since we aren't gonna be using anything from the bottom of this shock, the easiest thing to do is just to take the whole thing out as one unit. Assembly straightforward. We take the bottom cap and O-ring, put a little bit of shock O-ring grease on there and stuff it down in, push it to the bottom. Then we take the spacer, put it in above it. Another O-ring, same thing, a little bit of shock grease. Stuff it in above that. Take our cap, line up the screw holes, pop it in there. Then we just wanna take our three little baby screws here and get them started. All right, got those in. Now we're just gonna take our giant shock shaft, put a little grease on that, and then carefully slide it in, trying not to do any damage to the O-rings, but since these don't tighten up until you put the shaft in, that's very unlikely. Now, once we've got the shaft in, we can just go ahead and tighten these screws up. Next step is take our big beefy aluminum shock end, and we're gonna thread this on here, and we'll run that set screw in. All right, that's the lower all assembled. So we are gonna start with our reinforcement washer. Make sure you don't forget that from the original setup. And we're gonna put this with the holes down and pop the nut on. That's all there is to it. That's one upgraded lower unit. Let's put this in the shock body. Get it refilled. Pop a big old VG Racing spring on here. Get that bottom cap back on. And man, talk about an upgraded shock. Look at that compared to the stock shock. These things look beefy to begin with, but this is just on another level. Now, if you like seeing these upgrades as well as 12S bashing coming up, make sure you get subscribed because we got a lot more of that coming up in the future. Now, let's get this filled up with some fresh 100K. And once that's settled down, we go ahead and put the ring gear on. And we'll just put the screws in. Feels nice and smooth. This one's ready to go. Check out these M2C shafts. They are way thicker than stock, and I think these are going to hold up a lot better. There it is, guys. One fully updated front module for the Outcast 8S. Now, could I have done more? Could I have gone with an aluminum bulkhead, aluminum shock tower, and other parts? Yes, but the thing is, this is already a very heavy truck, and if we go too much further, it's gonna be too heavy, and we'll end up breaking things we can't replace. All right, got the rear module out now. Let's just go ahead and do this quickly, and... 
All right, fine. All right, that's the rear end all upgraded. This thing looks really awesome so far. Do you think this is gonna be able to hold up to 12S in serious bashing? I'm not sure, but I'm excited to find out. Let's get the transmission upgraded. This is ready to go back in the car. I think it's time to get all this stuff put together and finally get the chassis installed. Chassis is done and this thing is looking absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to get this thing out and bash it. Let's put the finishing touches on this with side pods, battery trays, and that beautiful Max 5 G2 ESC. With that guys, this upgrade process is complete and man, this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm really excited to get this thing out. I'm gonna put some wheels and tires on it, throw the body on it, and let's see how much this thing weighs. Okay guys, all these beautiful shiny aluminum upgrades. What do you think this thing weighs? 29 pounds, three ounces. That's actually not too bad. I think the stock truck weighs about 26 pounds. So I think that's pretty good for all the upgrades we did to it. Okay, she looks like a beast. She weighs like a beast, but does she bash like a beast? Let's go find out. <laughs> All right, this thing is a lot of fun on 8S, but let's put 12S in it and take it to the big ramp. All right guys, well I've got several packs through this truck now and for the most part, it is holding up absolutely wonderfully. All the M2C stuff is doing great. I love these shocks with the M2C pistons, M2C lowers and VG racing springs. They've been doing really well to absorb bumps. This motor has been plenty powerful and has actually been staying nice and cool even without a fan. The only real disappointment is this Hobbywing ESC. This thing is not doing well with sensorless motors and I've tried a couple different motors now with this ESC and I've tried another ESC with this motor and it's definitely a problem with the ESC. I'm gonna have to do some more research on this. Got some scratches on this chassis but it is still perfectly flat, holding up awesome. All the stock parts are doing really well too. I've had some pretty serious crashes with this and so far I have not broken anything. I think running those hot racing differential cases really helps strengthen up the differentials. And this thing's doing great on 8S and 12S power. I think this setup is probably the best setup you can get for an 8S outcast. So what do you guys think? Are there any upgrades that I missed on this? Anything you would do differently? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're gonna love this one.